Hi everyone, I'm here with my January favorites. I have a ton of products that I have loved this month. Some of them are kind of newer discoveries, I guess, but yeah, a lot of good stuff. Some of it is like from my LA trip, but I've fallen very hard and in love with these products. So I'm gonna start with some like skincare and move to makeup. The first is the Vita Liberita tanning stuff. This stuff is amazing. I don't know why I smelt it. It doesn't really have much of a scent to it at all. Um, it's got moisture lock odor remover in it. This is the Lotion Auto Bronze two to three week tan in dark. This stuff is great. It is a amazing tanner. It lasts quite a long time on your skin. I like to do it like one night, then the next day and like do it for three days in a row to build up a really nice long lasting tan. This stuff is fantastic. I've actually just finished a bottle. It'll be in my empties video. And I have gone through, I don't know, maybe three of these. It's a great, great tanner. It's a little bit expensive. You can get it at Sephora, but I think it's worth it. It lasts a really long time as far as the amount of product. They have a mousse and a lotion version. I prefer the mousse, but I have repurchased the lotion and it works just as well. Just depends on your preference, but I absolutely love this. And so I absolutely love this tanner. If you guys have watched any of my empties videos, you have seen this many times. It's been in favorites. I love it. I continue to repurchase it. And, and I was really excited when Vita Liberita actually contacted me and asked if I would like to hold a giveaway on my channel so that two of my subscribers would be able to have the opportunity to try their products as well. So of course I said yes, it's a product that I love. It's one that I purchased with my own money four or five times. So, so if you'd like to enter to win a Vita Liberita tanning lotion, then check the description box down below. I'll have all the rules on how to enter. There will be two winners and I'm so excited and I love when companies of products that I really love will reach out to me and offer to do giveaways because I love for my subscribers to be able to try, uh, try out products that I love as well. So love this. It's definitely been a favorite. I've been self tanning like crazy. I leave for Hawaii in March and so I just like to be tan all year round. The next are two more skincare products. These are the Colleen Rothschild products. I did a video on them, on the products that I had, I don't know, maybe a year or so ago. It's a newer company. The products are amazing. They're extremely high quality. I have gone through so many of her amazing skincare stuff. One of my favorites is the Rose Toner, which I have used up. It was in the empties a couple months ago. But my skin has been super dry, so this combination has been like a holy grail elixir to just bring my skin back to life. It is the Colleen Rothschild Extreme Recovery Cream. It's a very thick cream. You do not need very much of this. I'll take a little bit of this and a little bit of the uh, number nine face oil. I don't even need a full pump, and I will mix the two um, in my hands and then put it all over my face. My skin feels amazing the next morning. It feels hydrated. Uh, it's been super, super dry, and I don't know why. I have combo oily skin, but this has really, really helped with all of the dry patches in my T-zone and has just kind of brought my skin back to life. So I absolutely love this. I actually talked to Colleen, and she is going to do a promo for my subscribers. Uh, if you purchase the Extreme Recovery Cream and the face oil, she is going to give a free uh, hand cream to anyone who purchases this duo. The hand cream is amazing. It's extremely hydrating without being greasy. It's a fantastic ham hand cream. You can ask Natalie Flower Bomb 31 She loves it as well. So yeah, I was really excited that she was offering to do that for my subscribers when um, I told her that I'd been really loving those products. So if you're interested in getting some new skincare and you wanna try out some of the Colleen Rothschild products, if you pick these two up, you do get the free hand cream. I love this. If you have dry skin, very dry skin, or even if maybe you have normal skin and it's just been extra dry this winter, this is a great little like elixir combination that I've been loving. Another skincare, this is, well actually I have one more skincare after this. The other skincare I've been using, if you watch my empties video, which probably isn't up yet, but I have been loving using rose toners before I put on my serums. And so I've had kind of a stash of them and uh, this one was actually sent to me and I'm loving it. It is the uh, Roses Floral Hydrating Toner. And this is from Bazicare. I love this. They offered to send it to me, uh, which I've been looking for a new facial toner. So I was really excited when they offered to um, let me try it out. Oh my gosh, it smells amazing. This has been so 
so refreshing before I put on my serums, before I put on my moisturizers. I use it every morning, every night. You guys can see I've used quite a bit of it. The bottle is stunning. It's a frosted kind of reddish orange glass bottle with some floral design along the bottom. I really love this and um, it's just been a great hydrating product. I've been using rose toners for over a year and a half now. I've kind of gone through a variety of them and I really have been liking this one so far. So that's definitely been a favorite this month. A moisturizer that I pulled out this month is the L'Oreal Revitalift Moisture Blur Moisturizer. This is great. Uh, I threw away my Miracle Blur because it expired and I pulled this out and I love it. It kind of blurs your imperfections. It hydrates enough for the daytime. It's very lightweight and it's just been great. It's a little bit expensive, I guess, for drugstore pricing. So if you can get a coupon, I recommend doing that. But yeah, it works great if you have pore issues or fine lines and you just kind of want to blur it and create a nice canvas for your makeup. This is great. It's not a primer, it's a moisturizer. So with that, the primer that I'm loving is the Too Faced Hangover Primer. I got, I got this when I was in LA for eye mats. This is amazing. It has coconut water, electrolytes, and probiotics. It smells like coconuts. It feels so good on the skin. Oh my gosh, I love this. I know a lot of YouTubers um, have been raving about it. It's worth it. It's silicone free. It feels so amazing on your skin. I absolutely love it. If you can go to Sephora and try out a sample of it, I would recommend it. It's great. Um, I did get this from the PR person at Too Faced, but when I run out of this one, I will definitely be repurchasing it because it's really, really good. Some foundations I've been loving. Uh, for the first half of the month, I was using the YSL Touche Clot. I have mine in the shade B30. I love this. Uh, when I first got it about a year ago, during the summertime, I didn't like it. I didn't feel like it sat well on my skin, probably because it was too hot out, but I've been loving using that this winter. It's amazing. Uh, recently, I purchased the NARS. This is their All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. I have mine in the shade Medium 1.5 Velarius, and this is another amazing foundation. If you want to see a tutorial of how I use this or how it works throughout the day, let me know. I'd love to do that. I obviously can't do a first impression because I've worn it so much, but I actually have been using this half of the month, this for ever since I got it when I went to LA, and the last few days I've actually been mixing the two together, and I love it. It's what I have on today. It's a perfect color match. It's a perfect um, consistency, a little bit of glow, a little bit of long wearing, it's really great. This is a fantastic long wearing foundation. This is a little bit more glowy, but these together are amazing. A blush that I have rediscovered and I'm in love with, I'm wearing it today. I've worn it every day for the past week and a half is the Kardashian Beauty Radiant Ombre Blush. And this is in Glimmer. And it is the mauve pink one. It's got a, like three stars or a star, another star and whatever. Um, so it is three different colors. It's absolutely beautiful. You can, you know, sw swirl it all around, which is what I do. You can go into one color more than the other, but it is the most perfect mauve pink blush. I love it. This is like my favorite color blush. I've been using this nonstop with every eye look, whether I do cooler tone, warmer tones. I obviously have a very warm toned eye today and I, it's great. I love it so much. The other thing are these two Ardency in eyeshadows. I've been loving using the Tarte Tartlet palette on my eyes, doing a very matte neutral eye, and then popping these little babies on the lower lash line. They're beautiful, they're stunning. Um, they definitely make blue eyes pop. This one is in Royal and this one is in Orchid. They're absolutely amazing, beautiful shadows. Very, very pigmented, worth every penny, every dollar. I think they're like 20 something dollars, but these are great, I've been loving those. I've rediscovered my Becca highlighting powders. This one is in Moonstone, which is a beautiful kind of light white gold color, a little bit champagne. The other one is Opal, which is what I'm wearing today and it's broken. So I gotta be careful that I don't like spill this all over my vanity. But Opal is a little bit darker, you can tell. It's a little bit more flesh toned, a little bit more peachy, where this one is a little bit more of a white gold champagne color. These are fantastic, they last forever. I don't know how I, how I shattered that one, but I've rediscovered these and I love them. They're great, amazing highlighters. You can use them as eyeshadows, they're beautiful. Um, the Ardency in Eyeliner, I picked this up when I was in LA. This is fantastic, it's very black. It lasts in your waterline, it lasts on your tight line. It doesn't smudge, it's very, very black. Highly recommend it, I purchased it in a trio but I'll purchase it again on its own. It's a fantastic eyeliner. 
Mascara, Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I can't get enough of this. This little baby's almost gone. I have it on today. It's just a fantastic mascara that makes your lashes thick and full and long and makes you look like you have false lashes on. Great mascara. I have two full sizes, one that I got for free, one that I bought, and a small sample size that I got in some sampler set. But love this mascara. Cannot sing its praises enough. And then as for what I'm wearing, I'll kind of run that down really quick. Um, for my eyes, I have, I love this Bobbi Brown eyeshadow in Antiqued Rose. I have that in my crease mixed with a little bit of these Makeup Forever shadows in M704 and S710. They're just kind of like more warm peachy tones. On my eyes, I have just a combination of a bunch of MAC shadows and, and then a little bit of mittens from ColourPop on my lid. My cheeks, I already told you what those are, and my lips is this combination that I'm really liking. It is the Smashbox Always Sharp Lip Liner in Violet with Melted Fig from Too Faced. I think it's a great berry lip. Lasts all day, it looks beautiful. And so that's my lip combination. And my shirt is Free People. It is, I got mine at Macy's. I love these, they're really cute. They have like the sweater end on it. I have like four or five different shirts of the same shirt, but in different colors and then just some twisted silver jewelry. So anyways guys, I hope you had a fantastic January. I can't believe it's almost February, and then it will be March, which is my birthday month, and I'm super excited about that, and then I'll be going to Hawaii. So yeah, January went by pretty quick. I hope you guys are all doing well. Let me know what some of your favorite products are, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.